Peace, it's Mo from Clever Chrono. I recently had the awesome experience of attending an event hosted by the Atlanta Watch Society in partnership with the watchmaker Ming. The event was hosted at a Japanese cocktail bar named Himitsu and had really nice, cool, speakeasy vibes. This was only my third time attending an event hosted by Giancarlo and the Atlanta Watch Society, but I did run into some friendly and familiar faces. I am a fan of Ming, but I never experienced their pieces in the metal, so it was great to finally have a chance to interact with the brand. I was so busy chopping it up with people, I actually didn't have a chance to handle all of the pieces that they brought out, but I did get my hands on a few really amazing pieces, including the new diver that they just recently released that I did a video about recently as well. And there were a couple pieces there that I had never seen before, including one with a beautiful gold guilloche dial. Like each event hosted by the Atlanta Watch Society that I've attended so far, I also got the chance to try on a bunch of watches that I never handled before or got to experience in the metal. Some of them include Mark's beautiful green Glashutho Original with a green alligator strap. Such a gorgeous piece. I got to handle Gerard Perigo for the first time, one of which was a Laureato, which I had been curious to see in the metal. There was another Gerard Perigo that I had never seen before in a tank-like gold case with a display case back, and it was so classic. One of the first watches that I saw someone rocking that caught my eye was a Rescence. I had never seen one of these in the metal, much less on someone's wrist, so I was really excited to finally get a chance to handle that piece. I didn't catch her name, but shouts out to the person that let me handle their Rescence. Really appreciate it. That's an awesome timepiece. I also saw someone rocking the new pink dial Tudor. That was my first time seeing that in the metal. There were APs in the building, of course Rolex. Breitling was in the building as well. And there were lots of group wrist shots going down. This one is me, David, and a couple new friends that I made, Josh with the Pepsi and Frank with the Zenith El Primero. After I left the event, I was on the way to my car and I saw this sick black and white McLaren with peanut butter leather interior. It was so badass. Are you a fan of Ming? If so, let me know in the comments. And if you had any favorites from some of the watches that I shared, you can let me know that in the comments as well. Till next time.